In this Circuits of the Past video, we'll show you the site of the old Hockenheim ring as it looks today. The recordings are made both on foot and by drone, and we'll start at the site of the Jim Clark chicane. Here we have a bird's eye view on the site where the chicane used to be. Today, it's a simple sand plain. Now Herman takes a walk on the site of the chicane itself. Herman is the founder of the Circuits of the Past website and YouTube channel, and he filmed all of the footage found today in this video. My name's Simon Smith, and I voice the Circuits of the Past videos and have a gaming channel called Higher Plane Games. Here Herman is looking at the remains of an old service road that he discovered on his previous visit to Hold Hockenheim in 2016. Although this site looks similar, you couldn't quite find the exact remains again. Did they remove this piece of asphalt? Who knows? Here's some footage from 2016 where you can clearly see the remains of that surface road. Herman came here from the opposite direction that time. If you watch back the old footage from the Jim Clark chicane, you will see the service road on the right hand side of the chicane. We're back on the Jim Clark chicane again, seeing it from a different angle, and now the camera will follow where the track continued after the chicane. Not far on from that chicane, incidentally named after Jim Clark, is the site of where he had his fatal accident on the 7th of April 1968. This site is marked with a small memorial. There is a larger memorial on site, but that's where the old track left the stadium section and went into the woods. This memorial is also in memory of Bert Hawthorn, a driver from New Zealand who died at the Old Hockenheim during the Jim Clark Memorial Race on the 14th of April 1972. Ironically, it's almost on the exact identical site that Jim Clark had his accident. We return to the section after the Jim Clark chicane and head towards the Ulst curve. 
As you can clearly see, there's nothing left of the track here. They demolish this part entirely to plant trees, as compensation in a way for the trees that they need to fell for construction of the current track's layout. We make a swift trip to the drone now, and below you will see the site of the Jim Clark chicane, and we'll go flying in the direction of the Ost Curve. The huge tree on the left is the Jim Clark crash site, and that's where the small memorial is found. If you look closely, you'll also see a row of trees with a different colour compared to the others. Those are the trees that were planted in 2002 on the spot where the circuit used to be. We've now arrived on the site of the Ost Curve, which is German for Eastern Curve. Ever since 1982, there's been a chicane in front of this fast corner. Contrary to Hermann's previous visit, this place is now fenced off with electric fencing. This is because of the protected breeding area of the woodlark. The RSPB lovingly calls it a streaky brown bird, which is not something I'd put on a Tinder bio. Fortunately, there's still a passage here, but you're not allowed to leave that walking path and walk freely among the site of the old Ost curve. So finally, Herman may have met his match with something he can't break into. So, here we are in the middle of the old Ost curve. On the walking path, of course. Don't touch the grass, Herman, don't touch the grass. The embankment you can see on the outside is the remains of the old grandstand. We make a switch to the drone again, and switch to the site from the old Ost curve in bird's eye view. Nudge nudge wink wink, how appropriate. <laughs> As you can see, it's an open space. The asphalt road you see is the remains of the old track. That's not only applied to what we'd call the old Hockenheim today, but also from the so-called Dreieckskers, from the very first version of the circuit. We've already made another video about that, where I've hopefully butchered that name slightly less. If you look closely, you can discover a white line on the asphalt road. That line marks the exit of the old Ost curve. You'll also see a narrow asphalt path a little further down to the right of the track. This is again an old service road, and we're going to explore that on the ground in a little bit. Alrighty, we're back on our feet on the ground, and we're going to have a closer look at the exit of the old Ost curve. If you look really closely, you can still recognise the banking of that famous corner. A little further around on the straight, you'll be able to see an old service road that we just saw from above. I think it's time for some Herman urban exploring. A little further on, and on the left-hand side of the track, Herman's discovered the remains of yet another old service road. But as you can see, for some reason, it's been partly demolished.
Marshalls once stood here to ensure the safety of the riders. And this pit is likely a remnant of the circuit's drainage system. For those of you counting, you can have another shot for a service road. And we continue our way towards the Senna chicane. Unfortunately, there's nothing left of this chicane either. After this fence, Old Hockenheim ends and the current Hockenheim begins. So let's take a final look from the drone over the only remaining straight of Old Hockenheim. In the background you can see the current track. If you want to know more about the history of the Old Hockenheim circuit or other lost race tracks, you can watch them on other videos on this channel. You should also subscribe for more memories of bygone circuits of the past too. And don't forget, click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything that's coming in the pipeline in the future. Last but not least, you can also find out a lot of information on the website, circuitsofthepast.com. There you can download a free ebook about seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.